I definitely didn't expect this. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it's weird because it's really one of the best things that could have happened. More chant around. I was craving pickled mushrooms so bad. And yeah, I know it sounds stupid. But if you're a picker, I think you'll understand. And if you're not, you should definitely try. However, we packed our stuff and drove to this place. Where are we going? Here. It's a lake. I had a one-nighter plan to just get away from the city. We had only taken a few steps when we saw the first one, and suddenly, they were everywhere. Edible? Oh yeah, for sure. Look! <laughs> we were picking mushrooms like crazy. And it was clear that it definitely slowed us down. But it didn't matter. This was the exact reason to why we had gone here in the first place. To be able to relax and just be in the moment instead of planning for the next one. So optimal firewood is the one that hasn't been touching the ground because they're usually not as wet. We were losing track of time, but not at all in a bad way. Isn't it one of the best feelings? When you're so into what you're doing, you forget about everything else. More mushrooms? Yeah, I've been longing for picking mushrooms for a long time, so I'm so happy. <laughs> There. I mean, in that specific moment, there isn't even a concept <laughs> called time. Way! Oh, I see that. Nice. What is 
It's just you oh. and what you're doing. It's hard to close this one now. Too many mushrooms. <laughs> Too many ones. It's also one of those states you can't really decide whether to get into or not. But every time I do, things just go so easily. They just happen, and I get so much done. Sometimes, I feel like keeping track of time is holding me back from getting into this state of mind. So we've come to a hard point where we actually need to leave them. We have to make camp so we can pick more mushrooms. Yeah, that's what I want to do. But I think our lake is straight down here. We found a nice spot for our campsite, but of course it's on the other side of the lake. Uh, so we're gonna pass through a little bit of more forest and then we can set up camp, start a fire and chill. This is the spot. Personally, to get out is about this exact thing. To not be bound to time. I eat when I'm hungry, I rest when I'm tired, and I go to sleep when it's dark. Now we add some cream. You hungry? I'm hungry. I'm uh, minutes away from losing my life. Oh no. Yeah. I found it so much easier to adapt to these things than adapting to time itself. I guess it's because we can experience hunger, fatigue and darkness with our own senses. It's an internal experience whereas time is very much an external experience. Without measurements, we wouldn't even be able to keep track of it.
So we've come to the end of our trip this time. We spent one night outside and that's not enough, but it's good enough for now. I feel, uh, feel spoiled that we live, even though we live in a big city, it's just an hour away to a place like this. And you can just go at any time. With mushrooms. With, yeah, that was an unexpected. We had mushrooms for every meal, including breakfast. So that's good stuff. Yeah. And even, we even have some to take home. Oh yeah. That's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching and for all the support you're giving me. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.